is year two of training camp, how is it different than year one of training camp? We were actually talking about this yesterday. I, I didn't, I couldn't like remember fall camp last year. So going into it, I was like, oh, everybody, you know, it's it's not uh, as much of a grind as people say it is, but you get to like this, this week right here. And it's like, we've been practicing for a while. And, um, but you know, all, all the guys are doing good. We're just pushing through everything that we need to get through. And uh, yeah, it's basically it. Sounds like the defensive line has really been giving you all fits too. Um, have, they, have they stepped up their game? Who, who's popped for those guys? Um, you know, they got uh, Khalil and some of the kids in, in my grade, Khalil Spider. And then they got uh, big Deion Walker who came in this year. I think it's not as much as like what you said, but it's more just, <laughs> you know, um, we got guys and they got guys and we're making each other better. Some days we're going to win, some days they're going to win. And, um, you know, it's a grind every day. And that's what makes good, you know, offensive lines and good D-lines. Now, you've had to do a lot of different things. I think we saw you snapping for the first time yeah. a week or so ago. What's How, how challenging is that to, to cross train at a bunch of different spots? Um, you know, it can get a little weird just uh, call-wise, like in your head, especially center. You go from, you know, more listening to the first call and then you make your call off of that versus you make the first call. So you really got to, you know, know what you're doing. And it was I was kind of honored that they trust me enough to be able to say that I, I guess I knew what I was doing enough to be able to play center and they trust me with that. Um, so I, it's kind of weird just call wise, but, um, you know, stance and stuff wise, it's pretty, we treat everyone cross trained. So mm -hmm. I was ready for it. Does it feel like you all are I know there's been some guys in and out. Does it feel like you are at least getting closer to the like, all right, this is kind of how we're going to roll out game week. Do, do, you, do you feel like you're getting there? Yeah, for sure. I think, you know, if if you hadn't progressed in fall camp from, you know, where we started any team across the country, then, you know, everyone would be real worried. And, you know, we're taking it day by day and improving as much as we can each day to get, you know, the best, be the best team that we can be whenever the season starts and keep improving even through the season. So what, what, how do you how do you push through this this tough part of camp to kind of break through on to yeah. the other side? I, I mean, especially O line wise, we just lean on each other. We hang out. We got uh, NCAA up in the O line room. We got a uh, you know we got Drake Jackson's our GA now. We got a quarterback like my career with him. He plays quarterback at Kentucky. So <laughs> stuff like that, you know, uh, helps us get through. We just hang out, uh, watch Hard Knocks whenever those come mm -hmm. out, and just stuff like that. Um, you know, just leaning on each other and enjoying each other's company, you know, building that bond that it takes to, you know, be able to win in the SEC. We might be getting some Stenberg sightings too. I saw him breaking up some fights. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's what we were looking for Stenberg. And then we're hoping, you know, we always watch the preseason also with Luke and stuff. So mm -hmm. get to watch him, you know, play for the Jags and stuff. It's really cool. How often is great kind of talk to you about little tricks of the trade? Since yeah. Obviously, he did quite well at that position. Um, you know, I talk to Drake all the time. Um, just Drake actually taught me how to pass set, like first ever pass set whenever I was switching from uh, D line to O line. So Drake and uh, George taught me how to pass set, and then so we've always been pretty close since then. And um, he just, you know, continues to help me and advance stuff and say, hey, maybe I think you should be able to, you can try this now or you can try that, um, depending on what the look is.